Hello everyone, my name is Stealth Jacob, and welcome back to Pokemon Sword. Last episode we did a bit of training and just catching Pokemon around the Isle of Armor, trying to level up Cub Fu a little bit. Then we added some uh, of the XP candies we have to him, and yeah, we also gave him an item here. And I think we are ready to uh, take part in the tower here. We're going to be going through the Tower of Darkness with Cub Fu. And yeah, I think we're as ready as we'll ever be. I mean, we can always train them to like level 100 or something, but I'm not going to do that. So let's go. This is the Tower of Darkness. It's a training ground where Kupu will learn the true essence of darkness. Oh, if you raise to level 70, it'll go smoothly. Oh. So, okay. I guess I'm gonna dump more XP candies to him. Level 70, huh? Okay. Um, that's a lot. We can deal with that, though. Oh, here's a bunch of XP candies. I didn't even know we had these. Okay. So we gotta get to level 70. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go for 70, then. Uh, focus punch... I'm pretty sure... Okay, yeah, so not gonna learn Focus Punch. It's not the best move. Alright. 68. To be fair, it told us that 70 was recommended, so... Alright. We got it. We're level 70 now. All of a sudden. Alright. Tower of Darkness, Training Ground... At least level 70. Alright. I think we're good. What's more, the tower you didn't choose will be close to you forever. So yeah, that means we won't go to the Tower of Waters at all. Which is fine by me. I think we're good with this one. Remember, there will be no turning back once you have made your choice. Are you sure you want to climb the Tower of Darkness? Yeah, I'm pretty confident. The best of luck to you. Alright. Let's go, Cub Fu. Alright. Walking only a path of light will not help broaden your perspective. You must learn to both to use both light and the dark. Let me show you how. Alright. Master Dojo student. Sent out Zorua. Oh. Well, not going to be good for you. Now nah, level 65, huh? The Zora was a dark type. I know this. Right. Yep. There goes that. Yeah, I know my types. Light and dark aside, you have certainly brought in my perspective. Alright. Impressive, you can now proceed to the second floor. Okay. Out of curiosity, can I use items? I can. Okay. Well, I'm definitely going to heal Cup Fu if he's in trouble. That's for sure. But yeah, let's head upstairs. We're gonna get through this as quickly as we can. Those strong in the darkness are also strong in the light. I have traveled the path of darkness and perfected my strength in the light. Behold. <clears throat> Alright. I doubt Scraggy. Okay. So this is the dark and fighting type. Which means Aerial Ace will actually be pretty good too. Or Brick Break. Actually, let's go Brick Break because we have the uh, Black Belt equipped on Kung Fu. So it does even more damage. There we go. We got a crit. Nice. I wonder if this will take very long. Seems like we're just going to one-shot everything. Even my strength perfected in light can be overshadowed at times. Alright. 
doing all right. Impressive, you can now proceed to the third floor. Thank you. I will. All right. We are all but lost travelers, feeling our way through the darkness around us. The results of our of battles are hidden in darkness until battles are completed. That is the beauty of battling. Alright. Master Dojo student. Inke. I do not remember what type you are. I apologize. What are you, Inke? Alright, I have nothing that's super effective. But Brick Break should do the most damage out of all my moves. So I will do that. Night Slash. Okay, well, luckily we're resistant to that. I guess I'll just go for a Brick Break again. Yeah, we did power him up with the Black Belt, so that should help a lot. Alright. Take that, dojo student. Now the darkness surrounds me, I am about to black out. Oh, sorry, man. I apologize. You can proceed to the fourth floor. All right, I'm gonna heal a Cub Fu real quick. Just a little bit, he's not too hurt. But I'll give him like a super potion. Perfect. All right, we're doing very well. We're not really... It said that level 70 is smooth, so that's what we're going for. Wind that carries a ship out to sea is wind that shall... that stalls a ship returning to port. What shines light on one path can also be what keeps another in darkness. Let us see if you can find your own path onward. Alright. What do you got, Master Dojo student? Rock a rock. Well, I know how to deal with you, because you're a dark ground type. So this should be really good. Yep. I know my types. We got this. All right, Kung Fu might level up by the end of this. It seems you have found your path and sailed right on course. Alright, we're making up. We're just going as fast as we can up this thing. You can now proceed to the top floor. He is waiting for you there. Who is he? Well. Why are you up here? There you are. I figured you'd choose the Tower of Darkness, so I decided to wait for you here. Now, I don't distrust you, but I feel you would have been at the other tower if I went over there. I'm not gonna... I'm pretty sure that would have happened, I'm just saying. Still, Jacob, Kupfu, you've both done well to get this far. Thank you. Your final opponent is little old me. It's been a while since the last time I battled like this, but I think you can handle it. A stream too clear is avoided by fish Pokemon. We all need some darkness in ourselves. Let me be the one to teach you the final lesson, lesson on the essence of darkness. Alright, we'll go. What? Uh, mustard? What's going on with your hair? What happened? He has a Kung Fu. Oh boy. Kung Fu bite. I'll need to get serious if I am to take you on. Hone your sense now and let this battle sharpen you. Oh boy, we're both the same level. Aerial Ace. Oh boy, okay. 
Watch closely, this is what Cub's Fu's fists are truly capable of. Oh, he used Aerialist. Oh boy. Okay, I'm not a fan of that. I think we're gonna lose this fight now. Detect. Use Brick Break. Oh, do I go for Aerial Ace or Brick Break here? And I'm gonna go Brick Break. Because it's powered up. Oh no. We need to live. No! Kung you have no more Pokemon. Aw, oh, man. We lost. <laughs> that is annoying. It seems you have stumbled a little on your path. Let us get poor Kubfu healed up. Kubfu is back in fighting shape. May the shadow strengthen you as you face the Tower of Darkness. We gotta do that again? Kubfu. I had faith in you. Wow, that was... So we had a mirror match, and it didn't go well. <laughs> um... Hmm. I have a plan. Not a bad... Not a great plan. But... This will help. There, we boosted our stats. That's always a good thing, right? I don't know. I'm just disappointed we lost there. I thought we were going to win that. All right. All right, we got to do this again. All right, speed run time. All right. Okay, let's head back up the tower. Yeah, it's just annoying we got to do all this again. All right. Oh yeah, I forgot you used Sucker Punch. That's annoying. Alright. Alright. Yeah, I just need to make my way up as quickly as possible now. I'm still just annoyed that we lost there. Like, that's gonna bother me for a while, I think. Yeah, that's gonna annoy me for a bit. Okay. Gotta focus, though. Let's just get moving. Alright. Let's make our way back up the tower. Scraggy. Alright. I'm hoping that this time we actually win, though. That would be nice. <laughs> Alright, brick break them. Is there anything else I can, like, do? That's the question. I guess, is there a better item I could give him? I don't know. I mean, like, leftovers, I don't know if that's the good item to use, really, for this or not. Um... Hmm... Nothing else I can really think of. Huh, maybe the muscle band might be better, actually. Yeah, because... So that will boost all physical moves instead of just fighting-type moves. Okay. Yeah, that might be better. All right. Alright, we're just making our way back, though. It's all good. Alright, nothing's really effective here. Let's go for Iron Head, why not? Bang! Alright. 
Yeah, I'm hoping we do. We can actually win this time. <laughs> that would suck if we don't. All right, let's get back up here. All right, is this the fourth floor? I don't know at this point. I'm just skipping through the dialogue as fast as I can. All right, rock a rock. Just do a brick break and that will take care of you. All right, Kofu, we gotta learn from our mistakes, which are basically nothing, but whatever. It's kind of, it's basically just like the beginning of a Pokemon game where you're fighting someone at the same level, you kind of just get lucky who wins. <laughs> it's just like that. Alright. Alright. Alright, let's heal up Kung Fu and let's do this again. I'm hoping we don't mess up this time. Uh, where are my healing items? Super potion. Here we go. Okay. I'm just wondering, would a healing item be better? We could get him like a citrus berry. Alright, let's go again, old man. All right, skip through the dialogue. Mm -hmm. All right. <clears throat> All right, Mustard, let's go. We're slightly stronger than last time, so hopefully we have a better shot. Unless there's some secret I don't understand. I wish this was a six on six battle though instead, that would be a lot better. Just saying. Alright, let's go. Alright. I'm not gonna take it easy on you even though there's not much to do here. Only two Pokemon. Alright. There we go. Good, we won. Awesome. Alright. So you get mustard. You young folk grow so fast, it never ceases to amaze me. Okay. <laughs> what a team. Impressive. Most impressive. Oh, that's adorable. That's pretty cool. Looks like you were wor uh, you were worthy of my trust. You have done well, very well indeed, in raising Kung Fu to this level of strength. Leon was once my best student a long time ago. He too attempted this trial, but he never made it to either tower. He got lost along the way. Now it's time for Kung Fu to evolve. Go and show Kung Fu the scroll of darkness. Kung Fu is ready now. All right, let's go, Kung Fu. You want to show Kung Fu the Scroll of Darkness and have it evolve? Heck yeah! <clears throat> ah, here we go! Kung Fu is evolving!
Kung Fu evolved in the Urshifu. Pretty cool looking. I like it. Alright, Urshifu was added to the Pokedex, Fighting Dark. This form is a strong believer in the one-hit KO. Its strategy is to leap in close to foes and land a devastating blow with its hardened fist. Alright. Wants to learn Wicked Blow. Uh, yes. I will replace probably Detect for that. Uh, strikes with a fierce blow. It always results in a critical hit. Alright, let's get rid of Detect for that. Urshifu forgot Protect, and it learned Wicked Blow instead. Nice. Behold, before you stands Urshifu. Sure to be unyielding armor that will shatter any blade turned against it. And it has mastered the style of darkness. Nice, I like it. You've certainly grown, haven't you? And to think, not too long ago you would have run and hid behind me the moment you got scared. Indeed, no matter how old I get, witnessing someone grow always brings joy to my heart. Thank you both from the bottom of my heart. I almost forgot. I give this to anyone who has faced me when I was taking the battle seriously. Oh, Muster has a leak guard. That's cool. Now then, let's head back to the dojo. Once still Jacob does what he is meant to do, it is time for the next step. What is next? Can I have the rest of my team yet, by the way? I'm putting my team back. Alright. I guess we'll keep Urshifu for a little bit. At least. But yeah. So he's our highest level Pokemon. He is a legendary, so kind of makes sense, but we kind of had to for the whole trial. That was kind of weird. But yeah. Got our team back now. So I'm confused. It said that we can go explore, right? Does that mean we're, we can do anything? Or what? I guess we'll just talk to Mustard if we can. See what he's got to say. Hey, Mustard. What do I... I have to do something? Uh, okay. Um, so I guess I have to do something. I don't know what. Alright, I don't know. Whatever. Um, I think that's a good point to wrap up the episode, though, at least. Um... Yeah, basically, we got the Tower of Darkness completed, which is pretty cool. I'm a little bit sad that we lost that battle at the top, but that was kind of just unlucky. Uh, I don't know. I'm a little salty about it, but oh well. Life goes on. It's not like it's a Nuzlocke or anything. Alright. But anyways, that is going to do it for this episode of Pokemon Sword. If you guys enjoyed the episode, consider giving it a thumbs up. If you're not yet subscribed to the channel, you can click the subscribe button right here. But anyways, I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. And I will see you all next time. See ya!